Another Russian military plane crashed, this time near Belgorod, a city close to the Ukrainian border. Moscow says the plane was carrying Ukrainian POWs and was struck by Ukrainian missiles. Kyiv did not immediately confirm or deny the crash. Video of the incident showed up on Russian social media channels within minutes. The plane is seen falling from the sky in a rural area before a fireball erupts. Moscow says Ukraine shot the plane down with missiles launched near Kharkiv, but offered no proof of that. Straight Arrow News is unable to independently verify this video, which Russian media claims is from the crash site. The video shows wreckage in a snowy field and what appears to be the fuselage of an aircraft pitted with damage marks. Moscow says 74 people were on the plane when it went down, 65 Ukrainian POWs, 6 crew members, and 3 other passengers. But the manifest listing the alleged POWs on board contained names of soldiers who are already home because they were released in previous prisoner swaps. Ukraine definitely has the capability to shoot down Russian military transports. In mid-January, Ukraine took down two command and control aircraft vital to Russia's air defenses. So an unprotected transport plane probably doesn't present too much of a challenge. The general staff of the Ukraine Armed Forces is being tight-lipped on the matter so far, but Ukraine does make a habit of targeting transports it thinks may be carrying weapons, especially if those planes are flying near the border. But let's not forget it's Russia that has a reputation of shooting down passenger planes. Russia was behind the downing of MH17 in eastern Ukraine back in 2014, and it's the going theory of many analysts that Putin ordered the strike on friend-turned-rival Yevgeny Prigozhin's plane last year. There are more instances of Russia downing commercial airliners during the Soviet era as well. So while we know a plane crashed, it is not clear who was on the plane, how many of them there were, and whether they were carrying anything other than human cargo. And since the crash happened in Russian territory, there's no guarantee the world will ever know the true answers to those questions.